let's explore the list box a little bit more. I'm going to do a file new project. And we got Windows Form application. And we got example, list box, uh, more features. Okay. Now when I drop a list box on here, um, let's say I want to populate it with numbers. Well, I have to have a text box for this, the user to input the number in. I also have to have a button that I can click to add, add the, the number. Now I'm going to give the te text box a name. I'm going to call it um, TB underscore something. So TB underscore number. And list box, I'll give it a name. I'll call it uh, LB nums. And I want to change what this uh, button says. So I'm going to change its text property to be add dash and then greater than. Okay, that dash greater than um, is just for cosmetic. That's the only thing it's for. Okay, so when they click this button, then uh, I want uh, it to add in the number. Okay, so I double click that. Uh, oops, wrong one. Double click the button. There we go. And uh, declare double number. And I'll say number is equal to double dot parse. And then tb number dot text. No error checking on this. It's just uh, we're assuming that they're going to put in a valid number. Then I'll do lb nums dot items dot add. Items refers to the items inside the list box. Dot add will add whatever to the the list box. So I'll put a number in here. Now let's run this. Now add just adds the number to the. The list box, not not add as in mathematics. So I do three or thir three. Click add. Click four. Click add. Five. Click add. It actually can put anything in here. If I had it programmed the way. If I try to do David, it, it'll blow up because it's not a number. Let's see, the string was not in correct format. I'll break and then I click pass. That's because I did the double dot parse but we're not limited to just working with numbers you could get rid of this uh, double dot uh, all of that and just add in um, TB number TB underscore number dot text where the number is right here at this line okay now I, I want to I want to modify this a little bit after they add the number then I want to set the text box to blank so I'll say tb underscore number dot text equals the empty string. And now I'll set focus to it. So I'll do tb number dot focus. Beginning parentheses, closing parentheses, semicolon. So that'll blank out the text box and this will put the focus in, put the cursor in it. So if I run this, if I come here, put three, click add, four, add, five, add, now let's say I want to remove a number. Well, I need to put a new button on there for remove. And I'll change the text of it. Do the less than dash remove just for cosmetic purposes. Okay. And then I'll double click that and I'll say LB nums dot items dot remove. And there's a remove, but I also want to remove at. Remove at refers to like a specific location. And this should be whatever they have selected. So I'll do LB nums dot selected index. Okay. Now selected index should contain whatever they got, whatever they clicked on. And then the remove items dot remove at will remove it from the list. 
see if that's true statement. Okay, down here put three, four, five, and if I highlight five and click remove, gets rid of it. Highlight three gets rid of it. Four gets rid of it. Now, um, if I have nothing selected, then the, it's equal to negative one, and it should blow up if I click remove at this point. It does. It tells you the value of negative one is not valid for index. So I'll do a break, and I click the rectangular to stop it. I can change this. I can say if lb nums dot selected index is greater than negative one. That's when I'll actually remove it. Negative if it's equal to negative one, that means nothing's been selected. Okay, so if I run this, I put three in here, add four. If I click remove, it doesn't blow up anymore. But if I select something and click remove, it actually removes it. Well, maybe if I'm clicking this remove, I want to pop up a little box telling me I should need to select something. Be a little bit more user friendly. So on this button, I'm going to say if lb nums dot selected index is equal to negative one, then I'll do a message box dot show must must select an item before clicking the remove button there we go now if I run that and if I come here put three in click add four five if I click remove, it says must select an item before clicking, clicking the remove button. So now I can choose five and click remove, and it'll get rid of it. Well, let's take a look at one more item, how to clear out the entire list. Okay, so I want another button, and this one will be to clear the list. So I'll change its text to say clear list. And I'll double click that. And I got LB nums dot is it clear here? No. Dot items dot clear. Okay, so now if I run this, I'll go over three in here, add four, add five, add. If I clear the list, it'll clear the entire list. Now there's more functionality that we're gonna look at later on with list boxes. Um, once we cover arrays lists of data then we can s we'll understand better how to traverse through the the numbers here and uh, sum them up for example